Well, now to our team coverage of COVID-19's impact here on Central Ohio. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Let's get right out to Bryant Somerville, who spoke with CCS's Teachers Union about their fight to go remote for now. But I think it's time that uh, that uh, our, our leaders start telling the truth about what's going on. Columbus Education Association President John Coneglio says Columbus City Schools needs to shut its doors and open its eyes. We have uh, lots of student absences, right? Students are at home uh, absent. We have parents that are afraid to send their kids to school because of the spread of uh, uh, coronavirus. Because of that, as well as bus driver shortages and heating and cooling issues in some buildings, CEA released a petition Wednesday. The signatures of more than 2,800 members who would like the district to move to a two-week remote learning model. Coneglio says he knows that not every building in the district is facing these same issues, but many are. And he worries that these issues could be impacting students' instructions. For example, let's say a fifth grade classroom has 10 students and five of them are out due to illness. Now let's say that classroom's teacher is absent too. The rest of the students from fifth grade, Coneglio says, if a substitute is not available, go to another classroom and that classroom's teacher Coneglio says due to added anxiety and stress is stretched to the limits. I'm sure that the, these elementary school teachers are trying to provide the best instruction possible. But, um, you know, it kind of reminds me of the one room schoolhouse back in the uh, 1800s. It is more important that our students are in class, in person every day as safely and as best as possible. Wednesday afternoon, CCS saying it is committed to in-person learning. We want our students in class as much as possible because that is the best and safest place for them to learn. Coneglio agrees in-person is best. And while remote learning would put a burden on parents, he says until absences and staffing shortages are fixed, remote learning is the best option. In Columbus, Bryant, Somerville, 10 TV News. The district tells us that it is possible a student could be assigned to another classroom if there isn't a teacher or substitute available. <laughs> this is an effort to make sure students aren't just sitting in a classroom and continue to learn in person. To read the entire letter from the union, check out this story right now on our website at 10tv.com.